One of the th questions that's asked sometimes is how much can you improve the grid potential on cattle, the marbling potential on cattle, and we have some great tools available today that allow that to happen a lot faster than anything we've ever seen in the past, and really that would be the DNA technology as well as EPDs. And I encourage producers really to use both those technologies. One of the most positive things they can do is to eliminate the bottom end. So if you're DNA uh, testing your heifers, for example, and you find a portion of the heifers that maybe you would have considered as replacements, but they don't have marbling potential, they're way below average or whatever, uh, that's a good place to use that technology to cull those heifers and never breed them, sell them as feeder heifers, and they're out of the herd. The reason that creates so much value is then you're looking at what's left is a, a more positive group of heifers that you've kept. You breed those heifers right to bulls that have good marbling potential, that's going to put you miles ahead for generations to come. So I really encourage both positive selection, selecting bulls that have the, the right EPDs for positive carcass traits, but also in a sense negative selection, meaning DNA test your heifers and eliminate the bottom end. You do both of those things, you're going to make a lot of carcass project progress really rapidly and you can of course still do that and keep the other traits that you want as well.